Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well today. Um, today I've had a little bit of a mini tool haul from my good friend John and his amazing channel. So, we've got these fantastic stickers. I've got one of John's stickers proudly, uh, proudly on my board. He did give me two and I gave the other one to my good friend. But I've got some more now to distribute amongst my friends and other channels. Um, so thank you John John sent me not only those he sent me these small ones so I can give those to people I don't really like um, and channels I don't really uh, care for so thank you John for being so considerate to give me the miniature less wasteful option um, to give out so thank you John for that um, John is one of the I just wanted to have a little chat about John's channel there's very few channels on YouTube which I watch um, religiously obviously you've got scoutcraft everybody watches him he's the best channel on youtube but apart from that there's only a few guys who i really enjoy watching and i, I get a great kick out of watching their content and john fix is one of my most favorite channels on youtube Um, i'm a collector i love to see things restored but i do love to see interesting items and i have found out so many tools i didn't know exist which then I've managed to procure somehow and buy, um, but m all thanks to John. So, for instance, I discovered that Craftsman made this cool wrench, which I'd never seen before, never seen any images before, um, on John's channel. He made a fantastic video explaining the history of it, the company and everything. I highly suggest you go watch that video. I also discovered on his channel um, the s-shaped hd smith uh adjustable because he went out paid the money bought the tool and i had no idea this existed until i bought it on john's channel so john um and obviously he john obviously gets some very very cool stuff i mean i had no idea that the uh had a five and a half inch um pipe wrench um until i discovered john and then john explained all the different sizes and the different the different changes between the manufacturing dates so if you if you subscribe to my channel or you like watching tools i highly 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 recommend you go over and subscribe to john's channel and look back at some of his some of his absolutely amazing amazing um um restorations and his collection because if you like tools the only there's only a few places on youtube where you're going to discover really interesting tool, tools just scout crafter always shows us the really cool tools um i bought so many tools um and seen so many tools which i didn't know existed without seeing them on john's channel and and um the same for john fixes and scout crafters also john the two johns so john thanks for the stickers john also made me up some return labels with my address on it with my badge which was really kind john thought i was really thoughtful of you so i'll get these mailed out to all the people in the uk all your fans and i will get them in the box with all the other channels and um, which i mail these out regularly every time i send a parcel i mail out stickers as well so thank you john so much i've put one of them on the board so let's go have a look at the small one on the board. Right, John, so I've put one of your new miniature John Fix stickers just up there. And then obviously, pride of place in the centre, I've got my other one. So big thank you to John for those stickers. Uh, filling up the uh, tool board, uh, the tool sticker board really nicely. All right, thanks, mate. I'll uh, move on to the tool haul of today now. Right, so this is the uh, bulk of today's um, purchases. Um, so these items I've picked up of one recently, um, and I'll show you, I'll go through them and show you what they are and why I picked them up on eBay. Um, so basically, this was one job lot, and then all this was one job lot, and then we have three items which are bought on their own individual merit. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. So. I, did, I had no idea this was this size. I figured it was about this big, and I'm really pleased with it. Um, this is a um, good old Pratt, um, and they, they were uh, Miller's Falls, and they, they went out of business about 90 years ago. Um, so this is a really a, a pre-Miller's Falls sort of good old Pratt um, 
um I would say probably jeweler's pill um drill because it's so small. It's made out of solid brass and it and it's got a beautiful adjustable chuck on it, which is really nice. It's not got one of those like square square form chucks. Um and it's got it looks like ebony, but it's actually a metal a metal uh, handle. So really really cool. I kind of like this and I thought wow, I bid big on it. I won it. I didn't pay all the money which I bid, which was nice. Um, but I just think this is a beautiful little drill. I mean, it's really diddy, really small. It's less than eight inch, seven and a half inch long uh, pillar drill. Don't know what you guys think of it, but for me, it's an absolute treasure. I really, really like this. I think it's fantastic. Um, the next lot of items are these five adjustable wrenches. All of them have got merit in their own right. But my favourite one is this one here. Um, and I'll show you a reason why it's my favourite one. Now you got the idea. So basically there's somebody asking £200 for one of these on eBay. Um, which I think is outrageous. But according to him it's a penny farthing wrench. For the uh, obviously the bikes with the big wheel and the little wheel. Um, kind of unusual looking and I just like the, th no, the the knurled screw on the top I just think it's kind of unique so that's the reason I went for this lot um, um, and in the other lot there was a number one fast fit which another one I've seen on John's channel um, adjustable wrench really really cool then we've got here this American one made in the US can't really read that myself so I'm not going to try um, but some of you might be able to figure it out. A little auto wrench, monkey wrench, miniature one. We've got this one, which is one of my favourites as well, with this brass knurled thumb screw. Really heavy duty looking thing, very stylish. This is a beautiful wrench, really nice looking. And then another funky wrench, which seems to be reasonably common, um, is got the knurled thumb screw, another kind of unusual shape, three banding. But that's also got a nice look. So it was actually a really nice lot. And the, the seller had some really nice lots. And this was also off the same seller. And this was a brass lot. So we had three kind of unique. So we got a dog bone brass adjustable wrench. I think it's French. It says Depose Exxon or something. So so this is a brass bulldog, um, bot, you know, bone dog or whatever wrench. We've got this kind of... Uh, bent sort of like square nut wrench with this weird round thing on the side kind of cool looks a bit handmade and then we've got this wavy sort of square end wrench now anybody who follows me on instagram knows i like to make tool pictures and um, showing you you know different tools and stuff so i like to use these items to show them so yeah so that's one of the reasons why i bought those i just like little different items um, wasn't so keen on this one obviously it's one of those hooks for pulling down blinds or whatever and obviously you put a pole there and stick a screw through there on the wood didn't really interest me but you know what it's like with job lots and then we've got this <laughs> if this is beryllium it goes against what Scoutcrafter said about having the never ever used so I mean this one is the most used copper wrench I've ever seen in my life but I just kind of like it I'm not sure if it's beryllium it says, does it just say K-O-R? So it could be beryllium. It could just be copper. Not too sure. But it's got a nice feel to it. And it's a nice, nice wrench indeed. So basically, that was all one lot. Um, and so was that off the same seller. Um, the next one is this little four-inch Dowidat made in Germany. Now, the only reason I bought this was because it's a four-inch. But on closer inspection... The, 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 it doesn't turn it's it's all jammed up um it's i don't know what's gone on with that that snapped it was only cheap um so i'm not even going to bother with the seller but it's obviously been chewed up and i don't know if i can even get that but it's it's one for the four inch collection if nothing else um a little doughy dat four inch cv whatever that means so a little bit of buyer's remorse but it didn't pay much so i'm not going to even bother um, the next one is this rather cool jeweler's anvil. It's broken, which is a real shame. 
Um, obviously the little pot, the little foot's broken, but I, I thought it had enough merit in its as it was to worth buying. It didn't go for such a high amount because obviously of the broke. Um, it's got two holes going through it all the way forward, which is kind of interesting. Not sure what that's about. Um, I don't know if it's a handmade thing or not, but I've never really seen anything quite that shape before. I don't know about you, so I, it draw my attention. I think it's got a nice look to it, nice little diddy look, but it's just a shame it's been broken. But I imagine if it wasn't broken, it would have gone for more money. So I was quite happy to pick that little guy up as well. So... In this lot, there's some quite cool items, I think. Um, some quite nice stuff. Um, um, my favourite is probably the Goodell Pratt. I'd probably go for... And then this wrench, second. Um, I just think it's quite cool and a little bit different to all the wrenches I've got. Um, and the Anvil's a nice, a nice little guy as well. So put in the description how much you think I paid for all these lots. So we've got one, two, three, four, five lots today. Um, what you think the total price for all the items was, plus the postage, um, and put in the description which item you think is the coolest. Um, for me, I think it's this brass Goodell Pratt um, little egg whisk drill. I think that's jeweler's drill. I think that's really cool. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that. Once again, massive thank you to John Fix for his um, amazing stickers. Um, go check his channel out. There'll be a link below to one of, one of my uh, favorite videos of his. I highly suggest you go subscribe. One of the best channels for tools on YouTube. All right, take care, have a lovely day. Bye.